Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering network connectivity in cloud computing. In this topic, I will explain what is public cloud access, private cloud access, what is public intra cloud networking, private intra cloud networking, and also I will explain new facets in private networks and path for internet traffic. I will explain all these topics in detail. Guys, I have uploaded complete cloud computing subject tutorials. I will provide that link in the description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Guys, by using cloud computing, we can use resources like servers and storage by using internet. So in cloud, people can run applications and they can get results. If you want to access cloud without any problem, then you need good internet speed and quality. Guys, by using cloud computing, we can use resources like servers and storage by using internet. So in cloud, people can run applications and they can get results. If you want to access cloud without any problem, then you need good internet speed and quality. Guys, there are different types of clouds and how the network is connected play a big role in how people access the cloud. The two main types of connections are public cloud and private cloud. Guys, for example, if you consider AWS and Google Drive, everyone can use AWS and Google Drive by using internet. So we call this AWS and Google Drive as public clouds because everyone can use them by using internet. Where some companies contain their own cloud network and only employees in that company can use that cloud. Outside people cannot use that cloud and we call that cloud as private cloud because only employees in that company can use that cloud, remaining people cannot use that cloud. So people can access cloud network by using two ways. One is public cloud access. And second one is private cloud access. At first, I will explain what is public cloud access. Guys, all users can connect to public cloud by using internet. Some public cloud providers also offer virtual private networks for safer connection. For example, if you consider AWS, AWS is public cloud. Inside public cloud, we can create virtual private network for safer connection. So some providers like AWS offer virtual private network for safer connections. Guys, everyone can use public cloud by using internet. So there will be security problem. So in order to keep our data safe, providers must use encrypted tunnels like security pathways in order to secure our data. But this process will slow down cloud connection. So in order to speed up the cloud, providers must choose better paths. For example, if provider use short route between cloud and user, then cloud connection will be fast. Guys, public clouds completely depends on internet to work. And these public clouds are managed by service providers. So provider must choose better path in order to send data quickly. Second one is private cloud access. Guys, some company creates their own cloud setup by using server, storage, hardware, software, etc. And we call this setup as private cloud because only employees in that company can use that cloud. Using cloud is nothing but using softwares, hardwares, server story, etc. And only employees in that company can use them. Private clouds are part of company's own network, so they are more secure and easy to control. Outside people cannot access private cloud, so data will be secure. Private clouds might use internal networks or VPNs for connecting users. Thus, internet is big network. Everyone can use internet. Inside big network, Company will create one small network. We call this network as virtual private network or internal network. Only company employees can connect to this network. So if company already contains good network, they can easily move their data to private cloud. Still performance will be good. Next I will explain what is public intra cloud networking. Guys in public clouds, servers are located in company's location. And we can use those servers by using internet. And we cannot control these servers. Only cloud providers will control these servers. Still they are public clouds, our data will be secure. Guys, in service level agreements, cloud provider will promise that there will be security and resources will be always available to user. Providers will not break the service level agreement. Service level agreements are the agreements between user and cloud provider. In public clouds, resources like servers may be far apart but are connected through the internet. The connection between resources are managed by the cloud provider. So user don't see or control them. 
will connect to servers by using internet and cloud providers will manage these servers user cannot control them in public clouds security and access to the resources are very important the cloud provider promises certain performance levels which are defined in agreement called service level agreements next i will explain what is private intra cloud networking that's in private cloud companies contain their own data centers data centers are nothing but where servers are located physically we call that places data center so complete companies data and internal applications are stored in companies data center if the companies applications are built in small parts the data has to move between these parts and the users this increases the need for strong connections guys i'll give an example for example my company created a small application like amazon and this application is built in small parts like one part is user account next part is payments and next part is orders by using user account whenever user pay payment immediately we need to place order so all parts of this application must communicate between each other and immediately whenever order is okay we need to send feedback message to user so if the company's applications are built in small parts the data has to move between these parts and the users in this case we need strong network connection as for example in private cloud one part of application is placed in one server next part is placed in another server and next part is placed in another server guys complete application performance depends on network connection if connection between these resources and user is not good then performance decreases application performance depends on how we build application and how we set up network next i will explain new facets in private networks guys facets mean developments or challenges guys long back companies used to place their applications in their own servers but present many companies are placing their application in cloud by using service called software as a service that is nothing but cloud will maintain our software software as a service means companies rent software over the internet instead of installing it in their office companies will place their software in internet and all users will access the software by using internet thus old networks were designed in order to connect the users to office servers not to cloud based tools so if internet connection fails people can't use softwares that is nothing but if internet connection fails business can't work so networks must be like electricity if network goes down work stops so companies need network that can handle old style tools and as well as new style tools that is nothing but companies must create network that network must connect to users to companies application even though if we place that application in office server or in cloud that network must connect users to our application next i will explain path for internet traffic older network used only a few internet gateways few internet gateways are nothing but access points that connect to users to internet fewer gateways mean slow connection between user and cloud so if we create more gateways in different locations there will be fast connection between user and cloud for example if you consider some video calling applications like skype zoom etc they will consume lot of internet data so they need well planned network so in order to connect users to cloud companies must create shortest and faster paths